Justin Tyler, by the way.
like that. We had doors were open, my parents were there, and so were we. And so we didn't have a choice in the matter, we could drive it and all that stuff. And so uh, we were there when they were there, and we were always there. And I thought we were born there, I thought we lived there over there. And it was like they had some of the best food over there. And, uh, there was, when I was in preschool, we had this uh, pre-K teacher, her name was Miss Pennell. And um, she was she was like 131. And, uh, she was like for real. I mean, she's like biblically old, like super old. I mean, when you're like this high as a pet human, like you don't know. Everybody was old. They're like, probably old. You judge about the nothing size. You're not even cute. This bitch is awful. I'm tired of my And so, but Miss Pennell taught us everything we need to know um, when you're a kid. What's going to be, what do you need to know when you grow up? So, like, Mother May I. Simon says, um, <laughs> just all authority figure type situations. <laughs> when I say do or don't do that, and then you won't get in trouble. That was the whole point of everything. But what she also did was um, she taught us scripture. And I remember one of the one of the verses that just at, I, I, mean, I, can, I can tell you, like right now, I can tell you uh, what it smelled like in the room. And she, we were looking at, at Psalm 122. It says, I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I mean, I remember, I, I was like, first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember that next week. And because I feel that, I'm like, I'm super happy when we come on Sunday morning because it's like the good Kool-Aid. Like, um, <laughs> it's, um, it's like real brand Kool-Aid. Cookies, Mr. Nelly, cookies. And so I'm like, man, I absolutely am happy about this. As an adult now, with life twisting and turning, all the crooked turns that happen, I can tell you what's amazing about us being together tonight is not that just we get to be here, but it's that we're invited to be a part of the house of God. We're, we're invited into the family of God. We're called sons of God. And he says you're part of the family. And so I don't know who this is for. I don't know what you walked into uh, this room with. So this is called In the House, and I want you to know you're loved and seen and known tonight. That's what this whole night's about right here. It's another Holy Ghost song is what I'm trying to say. <laughs>
As I said, it's been a while since I Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Does it say we're a professional band? It's class every I feel like Justin Bieber right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. There's so many things I could step on right now that just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you. That was Wes, by the way. That's Wes. Y'all don't know. Um, I got started um, at this church in Winko, Texas, called the University of Texas Church. And in fact, the uh, pastor who started the church is here with us this evening, Chris C. He's in the house. And when I would be gone, Wes would actually, uh, when we started traveling, Wes would actually fill in. When I'd be away, he'd be doing what I'm doing right now. And I promise you, it would sound a lot more. <laughs>
y'all ever been to Taylor Swift show? No. Yes. It's nothing like this. <laughs> Well, that, well, that was a set change. We just did a set change. <laughs> okay, what we've done is we've created an atmosphere. Well, first of all, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but like, I didn't tell anybody to come get up in my space, and they did. This is, this is, this is, I'm, I got a big hula hoop, and it makes me nervous when people are in it, but here they are. And, uh, we talked about this ahead of time what we're doing is communicating non-verbally that we entered into a uh, section of the show that we call like the break room. <laughs> and as I was mentioning earlier, isn't it incredible when music gets in a room with humans and we start singing together, all the stuff that keeps us apart from one another, all the things that divide, they just kind of disappear. <laughs> Harmony is a musical term. It's very tough to uh, argue with one another when you're trying to harmonize. And unison is a musical term, and uh, I think we could use some of that. And here's what's magical, I think, is when you interject Jesus into that equation. It's very simple, doesn't it? When we start singing true songs about what it is to be alive in relationship to the divine, it reforms us, and it's pretty impressive what happens musically among us. And so what we've done here, is we've just gathered around our friends, we turn up, you know, we don't need that LED wall or anything like that. We're just gonna sing some simple songs together and see what happens. That's what I was doing.
this B3 organ playing on that on now on keys right here. This is just a flam in there, buddy. Appreciate this coral thing. Yeah. Yeah. I want to introduce you guys to my friend always uh, close to me right here is Dravis. If I say hi, Dravis. Yeah. And then this hymn's Adriana. If I say hi, Adriana. And then next to her is Chitama. If I say hello, Chitama. Uh, we're going to pick up our little more second. We're going to we'll call her out in a second and have her lead a few times. And then uh, next to her, our choral director, tell us what to sing, what to sing it, tell me what to wear. And, uh, <laughs> this right here is AJ. I'd like to say hi, AJ. I mean, come on. Uh, what's been amazing about this whole tour is we just got a bunch of people out there we're good friends with and, and uh, a bunch of them are part of our church home in Atlanta, Georgia. I go to a church called Passion City Church there and Passion City Church there. It's been amazing. Uh, it really has been. And Tim is one of the folks that leads week after week. And uh, I asked her if uh, she'd lead us in. There was this uh, one particular Sunday where we had just been in the middle of the lockdown situation. We were we were actually traveling on the road. We were in Louisville, Kentucky, and when things shut down, and they were like, hey, we gotta go home. And we're like, what, for the weekend? And like, yeah, probably. And then we finally made that. But uh, our whole, whole church had pivoted to online. God is still on the throne. God is still good. God is still great. He knows and sees you. So I just asked ask Jay if she just lead us tonight together. Uh, one of these songs that we do. Oh, 
Oh, Houston, once again, that's to the man, brother. That's to the man.
Just so we know what happens with these moments Don't get much rarer than we picked up for the right there with you I'm ashamed of the name I can't wait to Just scripture sung out loud. <laughs> Granted, some of the scarier parts. <laughs> also, that horse was sort of terrifying. <laughs> Imagine having your back to that the whole time. <laughs> What I'm doing right now is called procrastination. Here's what's happening. I'm looking at the sheet of paper that's on the floor in the industry we call it a set list. And basically what it is, it's a set of instructions. We start at the top, we work our way down. We've done pretty good tonight. And, um, and I've noticed that we're about done with a piece of paper. I'm thinking maybe we should have found a bigger piece of paper. I'm just saying, I don't want to leave the present. Here's what we'll do. We'll start. Here's what we'll do. I should.
should introduce you to my friends that are making the night so fun to sing along to. Right here on one side of, of the left, the thing right here is uh, BJ Cherry Gold playing. <laughs> music fans here in the room. 27, that's incredible. <laughs> uh, you, may be, you may be familiar with the legendary uh, bluegrass outfit called the Cherry Home Family Man. That's BJ Cherry Home. Uh, he was in that band to an empty cook up. You know, sort of <laughs> and they're no longer a band. <laughs> In the back, uh, playing what we affectionately call the yard sale, but this is Todd Bragg and the yard sale. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff. We think we found most of that outdoors today. <laughs> no, imagine this, because we are a professional band. Imagine this. Got all those choices, like all that stuff, and it's like, what should I get right now, though? That's what, that's what he's doing. All, all the, all the way. To me, that sounds very difficult, but he's doing a great job, though. Also, also, he's a founding member of the, one of my favorite bands ever exist on the planet, Kate Let's Call, right there. Yeah. That's Directly behind me, I've said his name a number of times throughout the evening. Um, I tend to mumble, and so I want to make sure you caught it. Um, talking fast in time, playing bass guitar. He's our MD, he's running the whole show. This right here is J.R. Collins. <laughs> Y'all know that song, Good Good Father? Yes. He didn't write that. <laughs> he, he was in a, a Pat Barrett wrote that song. And JR was in a band with Pat Barrett called Unhindered. And they're no longer a band. <laughs> porch music without a proper dog. Yeah. So I would like for you guys to make kind of welcome to Houston, Texas, the one and only Kenny Rogers, the party clock. So yeah. yeah.
This is a foot stomp, and speaking of foot stomp and hand clap, unfortunately, and this right here is as uh, clear as it gets. This, we brought the technology for such a thing as a whole damn top number. This is a song written by Hank Williams Sr. It's a true song, it's called Outside of the Light. Let's have a good time for the day.
Don't let the moon end. 